In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down some weekend league gameplay for you guys. I'm going to break down kind of what I'm thinking about during this game and also show some uh, tips, strategies, and tactics that you can use in your own gameplay uh, as you navigate uh, a really great opportunity to play weekend league for free this weekend. All right, guys, so uh, jumping in, I am just basically uh, I've got the new legends I've got I've got all the updated players so I've got Ricky Jackson at uh, defensive end alongside of Lawrence Taylor um, gets Lawrence Taylor subbed in here and then I've also got uh, Reggie White right in this position right here I've got safeties at the linebacker position um, running my 4-6 defensive ebook and then I've also got the uh, Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook that I'm running on offense as well. So um, if you guys enjoy the gameplay, you can pick up the ebooks below. Um, but for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Cody. Basically, what I do is I post uh, tips and tricks on YouTube uh, that are designed to help basically get better. And one of the best ways to get better, in my opinion, is through uh, studying some film study, studying some film analysis. Uh, and basically, you know, kind of learning from others. And so, uh, hopefully, today you'll see um, you'll see that I'm going to try to break down this live. So, so basically, what this guy's doing right now um, is he's coming out and doing. He's running America's offense, in my opinion. I form pro uh, stretch. Uh, one of the things that you can do uh, with the I form pro stretch is. Essentially, you can you can basically the the nickel three through five normal will actually stop I form pro stretch uh, if you run the proper run defense setups out of it. The other thing that's really important in my opinion is to figure out who do you want at the nose tackle. Do you want Reggie White? Do you want uh, Joe Green? You know who do you want in that position uh, as well? But once you stop the run with these guys, what I have often found is they can't really pass. So we'll see if he can pass here. He's got a Third and five. We'll see if he can make a read. We'll see what his route combos look like. Um, and runs a little C route. And I'm really surprised that uh, really surprised that he completed that one. Honestly, thought we had him locked up on that side. That's kind of why I left that route alone. What I tend to do is kind of watch uh, and see, you know, what routes are open, and then based on that, I'll, you know, if I see I've got one, then I'll kind of tailor off of it and go to something else. And that route just kind of you know, ended up working out for him. But first drive, there's really, you know, one of the things that I talk about a lot is I think that you can certainly beat yourself in your first drive, but it's very difficult to win a game in the first drive. So you can, you can lose a game in the first drive. Um, but what I want to do is kind of control what he does. So I want him to do what I want him to do. And that's one of the things that I don't think people talk about um, when they break down, uh, when they break down, you know, different game plays and different tips and strategies like this. Because what's really, really important to me is that I keep him running the ball. Because if I can keep him running the ball, then that means I'm in complete control. I know exactly what he's going to do, and at the right time, I can blow it up uh, whenever I want to. Um, that's kind of the, the thought process here. He doesn't have great running backs, doesn't have really a great, um, great team, in my opinion. So he should be just fine um, and should be able to stop the run with the 4-6 normal. This is 4-6 uh, normal, in my opinion, is one of the best – um, run defenses. We'll see here. We're going to sell out a little bit and try to blow this up in the backfield. We are able to get it back there. Let's see who we're going to. One of the things I do need to do is take. We've got DRC over here, Dion here, Jamal Adams here. I might need to make some depth chart adjustments. And runs it again. He might have got in there. Four six normal is starting to quickly become my favorite uh, defense. A lot of people you're seeing around the community are running four six normal, um, just because of the fact. Let's see if he runs it again. And we got him boxed up on fourth down. It's a big stop right there. That's what I'm talking about. I, if I can control what he's gonna do, that's huge. Um, because for me. What, what what that matters or why that matters is because basically, um, you know, I'm going to know on a fourth down what's he going to call. And, and I've got a pretty good guess of what he's going to call. And so for this guy, you know, he figured it'd be best if he just, you know, ran the ball. And uh, we, we clearly showed an ability to stop it when we needed to in the red zone. In my opinion, you know, defense more than it's ever, you know, it's still this year very much about um, not giving up not giving up touchdowns, right? If you just keep them in field goals, 
Um, that's that's to me the key. And so I'm going to play fairly passive. I don't blitz a ton this year. Um, I don't think very many people that are successful on defense blitz a ton this year. That's a great tackle by Denzel Ward. Probably a bad cut by Michael Vick, but that's okay. Um, on offense, what I'm going to do is run my air raid. Um, you know, a lot of people have asked me, you know, what what's the best playbook for the air raid? It's the Arizona playbook. If you enjoyed watching the offense, um, you can pick that up in the description. Both guides are together. They're in my Madden 21 uh, competitive bundle guide. So you can pick those up in the description if you haven't already. We've uh, just recently actually updated that guide for you um, with new plays from the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook. So we're going to go right into um, our air raid right here. And you see I've got Brett Favre. What I've got on Brett Favre, I just want to let you know, uh, I am rocking Brett Favre with the Gunslinger and the Pass Lead Elite and the Set Feet Lead. So I like to stack all of those abilities together um, to allow him to basically have very, very good throwing animations. And to me, that makes a massive, massive difference um, in how he throws the ball, where he can put the ball, uh, all of that stuff really makes a big difference to me. So, uh, all right, so he's going out. He's going to run cover three. So basically what I'm going to do um, is go to my cover three beater, and Brett Favre is going to put the ball right on the money over the top. Click on, and we got a nice touchdown right off the bat. A lot of people in Mutt, at least in Weekend League from what I'm seeing, that's kind of America's defense, honestly. Uh, we're just going to sit back and run cover three. And, you know, that's that's what a lot of people are doing right now. You know, cover three from the air raid is very easy to beat, um, especially if you have the right route combinations. So, you know, we're able to get on the board quick here. Now, uh, we'll be able to put this guy away fairly quick if we can get back and slow that run down a little bit. But, you know, part of the thing that I think he's going to start doing is he's going to start to have to adjust because now the pressure's on him. You have to understand that Madden is a game of possessions. There's more to it than just the X's and O's and the money plays and all that stuff. There's a lot of like, you know, situational awareness that most people don't really understand and don't really talk about. And that's kind of what I want to talk about right now. So um, what I'm going to do right now is jump into my depth chart real quick and fix the four, six speed package. Cause I'm going to kind of live out of four, six speed, I think um, for this game, just based on what his uh, tendencies are. But essentially what I'm going to do is put Lawrence Taylor um, and, and, um, uh, Ricky Jackson uh, down here at the defensive end position and then I'm gonna put up my corners uh, we're gonna have my Micah Hyde and we're gonna have Denzel Ward and then at the safety position we'll have uh, Jamal Adams so here four six speed so now you see I've got Ricky Jackson I've got LT um, hopefully and then those those guys are gonna be safeties when I come out and honestly one of the best one of the best um, ways to run this in my opinion here we're going to send a little pressure at him and he's going to try to go over top DRC should be able to get that but he's going to go out of bounds so it's okay but when you come out in the um, when you come out in the cover two if you just put these two inside guys on purples what you get is really really good um, really really good coverage for the most part. Now let's see, at the top safety, that's where I want Taylor Mays. And you'll see here it's going to drop Michael Hyde into this position. And he might have got me, might have burned me right over the top. Yep, he did. That's my responsibility, so that's a bad... Bad play on my end. One other thing you can do with the 4-6 um, is you can actually just run some simple two-man, three-man pressures from it that will allow you to uh, basically play more coverage. There was a good read by him. One of the things that's also really important, you're seeing here his, his – um, his whole entire demeanor has changed on this drive, so I'm going to have to adjust a little bit uh, on the next drive here because he's going with a little bit more. He's going to run six, eight, nine hook over and over again. I can already tell that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a big adjustment here and go back into the nickel 335, and we're going to basically play uh, cloud coverage.
Play a little cloud coverage here on the right to take that away. And there we go. Lock it up. So he's going to run kind of that, that PA flood in combination with that 689 hook. Here he's going to check down into his I-Form Pro. So that's my cue. Okay, I'm going to go down to my run defense, uh, which is this right here. We'll see if he throws a slant route. And Nick Chubb just magically got through. Now right here, this is situational awareness. I want to call my timeouts. The reason I want to call my timeouts here, I want to put the pressure on him, and I just want to see what he's going to do. Um, he's probably going to keep running the ball. Uh, he'll probably run three dives. But I like, uh, and there he audible three times, which is huge. So now he's got the ball at the nine-yard line, third and goal. Now this is a huge um, situation in the game. So what I'm going to do, is I am going to go to that right there, and I just got stuck on my defensive tackle. Uh, and the nickel 335, I need to get Reggie White out of there. He's too slow. Put Alden Smith in there. Alden Smith has like 80, I think he's got right at 80 speed or so. I've also thought about getting uh, OCU Minora just for the speed. I should run here. Nope, gonna go quick, quick game, quick game. That's me. Now if I can get it if I can get out of here, let's see if we can get a touchdown. Nice play by Taylor Mays. That's a huge play in the game because that puts me up by a field goal. So I'm gonna go up nine to six, which is a huge deal because um, now I've got the ball. I'm up one possession. I've got two timeouts, 49 seconds left and I get balled half. So in theory, if I go down and get um, a touchdown or get a field goal, that puts me in a really good position to be able to go up by two full possessions, uh, maybe even three full possessions if everything works out perfectly. And Mike Allstott's just being a big beast right there on the kick return. Um, Going to start out kind of like I like to start every drive out lately. Uh, I just like to see what people can do with the QB draw. Most people can't handle the QB draw, um, especially in a weekend league. Uh, I just haven't come across very many people that know how to stop this run. And so you see here, Michael Vick gets out of here. And, I, and I've done videos on this. This is one of the best runs of the game. That was a big mistake by me. I should have went out of bounds. The play was kind of over. Um, he's just struggled stopping the QB draw. So I'm going to go to it again and just kind of make sure that I'm in field goal range. And then once I'm in field goal range, you know, then, I'll, then I will adjust. But here he's just coming out nickel normal. So we should be able to get out here. Michael Vick, 93, 90 plus speed. And let's see if he can get to the corner. And did I make the same mistake I just made, or did he get out of bounds on that one? Nope, he didn't get out of bounds. Dang it. Okay, I'll call timeout. Now, uh, when I'm in this position right here in the air raid, there's several different plays that you can run that are going to um, – that are more than likely going to get you in the end zone. Uh, one of those is – the jet touch pass you could also use there's a bunch of different uh, ways to run this but I really really like running this uh, here I've got Brett Favre back here so I don't want to be running with the quarterback that's a little bit of a cue but we're gonna try to get this jet touch pass out on the edge here because most people are gonna come out and goal line and we're able to get in and that's gonna give us a reservation for six that's a huge drive at the end of half so now what I've got to think through on again back to the game planning game management to me, I lose more games because I don't manage a game well than because I do. And there he's going to go ahead and quit out. I had, uh, I was going to say we're going to go into more of a prevent defense. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Just wanted to show some of the gameplay of the Legends and share this with you on uh, Weekend League Gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We upload several videos every single day on YouTube. Um, we have tips and strategies. We have some breakdowns, some schemes. We also have some gameplays, and we also have some... Uh, card reviews uh, that you can check out as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.